YouTube, YouTube, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you beautiful people. Well, this is what's going on. <clears throat> I just brought my mother-in-law home from the hospital. She has a broken kneecap. That lady left her for dead in the street, and I found out the little two sweet girls were crying on the sidewalk or wherever they were that my mother-in-law was dead because she was just laying there. And, yeah, that that piece of crap left my mother-in-law like that. Well, I'm suing. My mother-in-law suing. Because, two, why I found out it's a good reason to sue is because what about the hospital expenses? This special knee leg brace that my mother-in-law's got, that cannot be cheap. That's probably thousands of dollars. And she's got a walker. I know walkers, that walker's probably two or three hundred dollars. But that brace especially fitted to her leg, it's, yeah, it's a lot to that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that woman had no regards for who she hurt or what she did. She does, My mother-in-law was with those two little girls. She was crossing them. Just imagine how traumatized those poor little girls are to see your school crossing guard get hit and laying in the street. So, yeah. I called the Mike Morris Law Firm, and we're going to get this up and going. But I just got her from the hospital. Thank God for that, because they want to do surgery, but she's not going to do it. She's 81 years old, so she's going to try to heal the best she can, get workman's comp, whatever. I mean, we don't want to work, but she loves, she loves those kids. She loves the people, you know, and that's a beautiful thing. Um, that's a shame that this had to happen. We would have rather if it not happened. And she could just enjoy her everyday life, you know, with the kids and, and the other crossing lady that's her friend over there. But I just wanted to jump on here really quickly tonight and let you guys know what's going on. Now, hopefully tomorrow, I got a couple things I do got to do. Oh, man, I'm so tired, you guys. It's like a, like a train ran me over. <clears throat> I've been worried about her all day, but, uh, what was I going to say to you? Uh, tomorrow, I would like to, if I can, make a video, if I can, sometime in the afternoon, evening of a store. I don't know what store I'm going to choose yet. Who knows? Maybe it'll be Kroger, whatever, because tomorrow I do get paid in the later afternoon and I need stuff. I always need stuff. I always need cat food. That's a given. I did get a free bag of cat food, you guys, today at uh, our local animal control. And it's some kind of gourmet cat food. I know this bag of cat food probably is like 80 or $90. I could never spend that. They're eating its really little pellets. Actually, I'm going to give my dog a little. My dog loves cat food. He's a goofball. But, uh... Dry cat food, not what, but uh, just a little. He eats a little hand food, handful there and a handful here. And I know Amy, so it made me not feel so bad. Her dogs eat up all her cat food. I didn't know that was a thing because it's way richer. You got to watch they don't get sick. But my dog eats such a little bit of it, a couple handfuls, you know. It's nothing. But uh, I just wanted to jump on here, say hi to everyone. Love you. Subscribe. Because it's been some downtime. My videos haven't been that wonderful because I've had a lot going on. Cable company. Um, you know, that guy swearing at me from Comcast. Text me. I got all this proof, so I got to be calling about that and, and, and reporting him. <clears throat> and I'm trying to do all this stuff for my mother-in-law. I do it. Her son, her daughters, nobody does it. Me. I'm getting the lawyer going. I talk to detectives. I got her work knowing that she's not working. It's just a lot. Yeah, it's a lot for one person. So I'm doing my best, but I do want to get some kind of video tomorrow. If worst comes to worst, I'll have one on Wednesday before I go to work. Because I work on Wednesday. My dog's got to go get a haircut. So my husband's going to have to take my little woofy. He, I'm, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna show you, if I can. 
like when he gets his little haircut, he looks so cute. It looks really sweet. But I wanted to say hi and all my love in regards to you guys. You're wonderful, good people on there for checking in, seeing how we're doing. God bless you all. Just keep praying for all of us, for everybody. We should all pray every day for just us as a human being kind. Because life is hard out there nowadays more than ever. It really is. So you beautiful people have a great day. This is Lisa sharing life stories with you. I will be on tomorrow. You can bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.